welcome to Auto Bot YouTube channel. Myself Rafa Nikshna. Today we are going to learn one important and useful activity in UiPath. That is format value. So format value is nothing but it's a uh, activity which will help to convert the generic value to different formats. Like uh, just consider if you have a date or if you if you want to convert the current date to some particular format. Okay. So what you can do? Either you can write the command for conversion or you can directly use this format activity. So this format activity is a unified activity which will help to convert four types of uh, uh, formats that is number, date and currency and percentage. Okay. But the input should be a generic value and you can convert that to, to uh, any desired type. Okay, so that, that's the purpose of a format value. So in this video, we are going to cover all these four types of uh, conversion that is number, currency, percentage and format date. Okay, so uh, uh, let me open this. Okay, I already started uh, pointed this chart note to this particular uh, sequence. So let me open this activity. Okay, so inside format activity, uh, what are the things that you need to provide? Here you need to provide the format and the value. Value is nothing but what should be the value that you want to uh, format. Okay, so here this format value is nothing but I created a variable okay which is of type variable type this is important the variable type should be generic value okay and the scope i provided as mean and i provided a default value just consider as part of your automation you are getting some value okay uh, if it is uh, like this okay which which doesn't have any uh, decimal point okay so uh, in order to add some uh, decimal points like uh, you are getting some data from one application and you need to insert that uh, data to another application okay so in the second application the uh, format of that particular field requires some decimal point okay otherwise it will throw some exception so what you need to do you need to convert this data or you need to format this data with the decimal point okay then only you can uh, add uh, or you can type that in the uh, second application otherwise it will throw the exception so for this kind of uh, formatting you can use this format activity okay format value activity so here you need to set the format if you click on format it will ask for what should be the format type okay so if you want to convert a number just select a number or if you want to select a date time you can choose date time or if it is a currency you can choose currency or percentage okay so here we are going to convert this number right so i'm selecting as number then what should be the decimal digit so how many de decimal digit that we need to add so here just consider like a oh, five seven eight uh, uh this is just a number right we don't have any uh, de uh, decimal part is there so if you are adding like a uh, decimal digits two it will add dot zero zero because the decimal separator i uh, uh, selected as dot if you want to keep some different uh, decimal selector like a comma or a slash you can select that but i'm just keeping it like a dot and what should be the group selector group selector will just group this uh, number of characters okay so let me click on ok and i will uh, try to execute this and we'll be getting the output in the message box okay so let me run this okay here you can see it has automatically added two decimal point and it has grouped the uh, characters with the comma okay so that is the purpose of this formatting okay uh, okay and let me do one more thing like uh, here i'm going to add some decimal part okay i'm going to add some decimal part and in set format i'm going to keep this decimal digit as zero okay so why we are doing this means suppose if you are getting uh, a number like this which is having some decimal digit and you don't want to <coughs> keep this de de decimal point okay and you want to round this data and you want to uh, keep the last digit as a seven nine okay what you can do you can put the decimal digit as zero click on okay save it now run the file Okay, so now you can see uh, the number was converted to uh, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 7, 9. Okay, so the last digit got uh, rounded to 9. Okay, so this is how you can uh, format your uh, values. So let's go to the density conversion. 
that is format as currency. So let me put it as uh, uh, starting now. Let me go inside. And uh, here you can see uh, if you choose a currency, it will ask for the symbol, the decimal uh, digit, how many decimal digits that we want to keep, and what should be the separator. And here we will get a list of uh, symbol. Okay. So just consider you are getting uh, one number uh, from one application. Okay. And in the second application, you need to add some uh, dollar. Or if you are trying to uh, add that to some documentation or uh, to some word activity, uh, what you need to do? You need to add some dollar symbol or some particular symbol uh, like rupee symbol uh, to that number. What you can do? You can use this uh, uh, formatting and you can append that uh, dollar symbol. And if you want to do some uh, separation, you can do that. Click on OK. Save it. Then just run the file. Okay, so here uh, in the output you can see a dollar symbol got appended to that. Otherwise, so what what you have to do? You have to uh, manually append this uh, dollar symbol uh, using an assign activity, right? So instead of that, you can uh, use this format uh, value and you can add different types of uh, currency uh, types, right? So that is the purpose of uh, this format uh, currency. So this kind of uh, conversion will be helpful, like if you want to uh, send some invoice to the user or uh, as part of your automation, okay. Uh, so, um, if, you're, if you're doing some automation for the finance department, you have to do a lot of additions or you will have to do a lot of uh, manipulation with the currencies, right. So, at that time, you have to add this kind of symbol as part of uh, sending some documentation or invoices to the users or while generating the output, right. So, uh, this uh, formatting will help uh, in those kind of uh, scenarios. So let's go to percentage. So percentage is also same like how uh, we need to convert the format of a number. Okay, so let me open this. Okay, so here just consider uh, the format type is percentage and the decimal point and decimal digit is two. Just consider like if you want to keep that three. Okay, and decimal separator uh, currency is a uh, point. And based on the geography and based on the project which you are going to work on, this will change. Okay, so before uh, using the decimal selector and the how many digits that you want to keep, you have to get the confirmation from the uh, this PA and you need to use these symbols based on that. Okay, and what should be the symbol that you want to use for the percentage and uh, what should be the group separator that also you can modify. So I'm just keeping the decimal digit as 3 and I'm going to click on OK. Now just run the file. Okay, here, here you can see it has added uh, three zeros and it has calculated the percentage. Okay, so I hope uh, you are clear about that. And just consider I am going to uh, divide it by two. Okay, and uh, I am going to set the format as two. Okay, same. I am going to run the file. So, uh, in your automation also, the kind of divisions or uh, you have to calculate the percentage as part of the automation and you will have to view it out here, right? So, at those, uh, at those points, you can use this uh, addition and you will be getting a percentage. Okay. So, uh, even for those kind of calculation also, you can use this format value active. And this one is uh, the main important thing, that is the conversion of data. Okay. So this date and conversion, it will be uh, helpful if you are working for a different geography. Okay, suppose if you are working from uh, India and you are doing some automation for some uh, other geography, what you can do, you have to do this conversion, right? So at the, those point of time, you can use this uh, format date or uh, this consider like uh, it's not only about uh, the region basis, like uh, if you want to uh, change the conversion uh, date format from DD, M, Y, Y format. Okay, you want to convert that to DD, M, 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 Y, 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 Y format. Okay, what you can do? Either you can use the commands for doing that. Else, you can go with the format date, which is very easy to use and very handy. You can directly uh, set the format based on your requirement. You can choose the format type as data and you can choose whatever the pattern that you want. Okay, whatever the pattern that you want. Because it will allow different types of formats, including time, hour, uh, second, and all. And you can uh, convert the current date to 
like suppose if uh, uh, current today's date is Friday means it will print Friday. Okay, like that the different formats are available. So just consider this particular format. <coughs> Here DD DD means it will print the uh, uh, day in character, then DD the date, then uh, MMM means it will print the month, then year, then half a minute and second. Okay, so I am going to keep this as a format. Okay, and what, what is the data that we are providing? That is date time dot now. Okay, and I have passed date value as input. Let's try to execute this one. So here uh, you can see the date got printed with the format that we have provided. Like this way, you can provide different types of a for format which is available uh, over here. Okay, uh, so uh, you can use this format value uh, activity for doing this kind of a formatting, uh, even for date or even for currency or even for percentage or even for number based on your automation requirement. Okay, so before uh, going to use this activity, you need to cross check like what should be the format or uh, what should be the uh, type that you need to uh, provide. And based on that, you have to use this activity and you need to format your particular value okay so i hope you find this video useful uh, because this activity is a very useful activity if you're going for a complex automation which involves mainly for the financial uh, domain okay and uh, um, please do comment your valuable opinions based on this video as well as based on our uh, channel and uh, if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye